message to the team after the deadline. Focus, that, that's the word that uh, was definitely said in our, our shoot around, our walk through. Uh, get a chance to play basketball for a living. And this uh, opportunity with no excuses for, uh, for us to have nine guys available and ready to play and compete and keep it that simple. With the, uh, the Dennis trade being official, I'm just curious if you could give us a little bit of insight into what went into that deal, what does Dennis bring, and what was the primary reasoning for moving Spencer? Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, punt the uh, specifics to Sean when he addresses. I'll look at it from a coaching perspective and what Dennis brings. I can give you that. A uh, guy that uh, is going to compete on a nightly basis, has the ability to get to the paint, um, you know, thinks like a point guard, whereas sharing the basketball, getting the group set, uh, getting downhill, uh, but a guy who's won on a high level, whether that's with his national team, and had uh, commanded respect from that team and that coaching staff. Uh, so uh, a guy that I look forward to coaching because of the competitive nature that he'll bring to our locker room. Jack, on a different note, uh, was there an update on the MRIs with uh, Cam Johnson and Lonnie? Uh, let's see. Um, Lonnie has the potential to play on Saturday. Uh, Cam Johnson is ruled out for Saturday. So that's a, that's a, got that one. That's about as updated I can give you. And so um, uh, we'll see what Cam Johnson looks like uh, next week. Uh, but Lonnie has the ability to uh, possibly play on Saturday. Hey, Coach. What's up, um, Lucas? Just wondering about Dayron, since it's been a minute since we heard about his, you know, rehab from the hyperextension. How's he doing? You know, what's he been able to do as we uh, head closer to, a, you know, a break in the schedule? Yeah, no body still around him. He's been more one-on-one uh, -on -one with the coach, uh, able to get up and down a little bit more since the last time I updated you guys. Uh, he is definitely out for Saturday as well. And uh, see what he looks like, uh, uh, hopefully, going towards uh, next week before the break. You were here, you know, you were able to see Spencer's, you know, come up and then leave and then come back and have this second stint. Just, you know, seeing his growth as a player, whether here or wherever else he went, just what can you say about how he's developed in that time to, you know, up to this point? Well, Eric, I, I want everyone to uh, have success in this league. And so I appreciate the, uh, Spencer being a part of our group and uh, want nothing but success for him moving forward. When you watch the film on this Cleveland Cavaliers team and just what they've been able to do in these last couple of weeks in the stretch, what stands out to you and how do you guys kind of match up to them? It's unbelievable. I think since December 15th to see their turnaround, uh, a, a team that was, uh, you know, without Garland and without Mobley and uh, somehow uh, found a way to uh, turn this thing around and win a lot of games. Uh, led by uh, Mitchell, his ability to uh, just score the basketball on a nightly basis and be a setup guy as well. Uh, so he's done a, a great job of really incorporating their first and second group. And then now with Garland and Mobley being back, um, uh, gives them much more depth. Uh, their ability to defend is at a high level because of those two bigs on the floor, and then they have shooting that comes from the bench and that starting unit. So uh, you can see why they are, what, 15 and 1 in the last 16, something like that. Um, pretty good. Jock pretty much hit the nail on the head when he was talking about uh, Dennis Schroeder, Frank. He's going to compete every night, and he's actually looking forward to him coming to this team and helping out. Yeah, this is a guy that came into the league as a 20-year-old, as a first-round pick of the Atlanta Hawks, played for a lot of teams, including the Lakers, the Celtics for a year, the Houston Rockets, obviously most recently with Toronto. He's played in 68 playoff games, so he has a lot of experience. He's going to get a chance here for the next year and a half. He's under contract with the Brooklyn Nets. He's going to play a lot. But you listen to Jock, it's funny because... So much is going on in the coach's head, and the top priority is get your team ready for a game and try to win. And now tonight, with the roster depleted, and of course you're asking a question about a guy that just that just got here but isn't here, then you're asked about Cam Johnson and Lonnie Walker. One guy would be starting, the other guy would be one of your first guys off the bench. They're not available. And oh, by the way, you got to play the Cleveland Cavaliers tonight. You can tell that Jock Cohen's got a lot yeah. of things going through his mind. Who have won seven in a row, and as we mentioned in our last segment, are 15-1 since January 2nd. We're going to step aside.